Alright, what's up guys, Prometheus here, and today we'll be doing a tutorial, a remake tutorial on ClipChamp. It is free editing software. Um, let's see, you can also upgrade, you can do the upgrade version of it. It has a lot of those useful tools, um, but we're going to go and just edit our little um, clip that I guess I made. So let's go ahead and click create. Um, you do have to create an account or sign up. I am signed up as... Um, using my Gmail account and then we'll go add to right here and browse files and then this is where you can either drag and drop or you can just do your own files and uh, add it right there so say we're just gonna pick something I don't know what but we're picking something let's see sure that's just for tutorial purposes uh, let that load up um, now you could either click and drag and drop or you can just press the plus sign to add it to the timeline uh bingo boom it's added to the timeline here okay now um for example you might want to figure out what format you want your um your clip is if you want to just do regular youtube i'd keep it right there 16 16 by 9 if not you want to do any like social media TikTok or all that stuff you want to I would suggest you pick to 9 by 16 although um, if you do want to make a TikTok video I'll uh, have a video already uploaded uh, if you can check that out the card will be above right now all right so now we got this right here uh, normally when I do a um, editing stuff I leave the I don't really have an intro for now. I used to have an intro, but I don't anymore. But let's just say for sake, you want to um, add your intro right here. Let's uh, we'll go ahead and add something, add another little file here. Uh, here, let's just bring that, something I was creating a little bit. Now you want to, let's say right here, and then we'll add that to the, the timeline. Boom. And now you notice right here, you all see this little thing. This actually is telling you that there's a gap here and you can close it just by going like that. So that's quite useful. You can mute right here or mute up here. Um, so that's pretty good. So now we have this little transition. They have a couple transitions in here as well. Pretty nice actually, uh, especially, um, for inks always my favorite uh, spin is pretty nice little touch here we'll, we'll add it right there seems pretty simple and then we'll go ahead and uh play it right here guys oh uh, we're playing it's just something i made up uh for now but uh we'll play that and we'll see how the transition goes boom actually pretty cool quite awesome um, that was actually awesome. So and then you have a spot where you can add timeline and add audio and stuff like that. Add text to this timeline. So um, and then for that matter, other little things that you you can do is, uh, of course, text has pretty cool little stuff here. So normally what I like to do is um, as I'm starting out because I don't really have an intro, we'll do like some type of lower third and let them know like my tw my uh tw twitter or whatever so we're gonna add that to the timeline and it just adds it right here we're not gonna let that space go so and if you want to see it's right here in order to just change it we go up the top right here and click text and then you can name it or your whatever you want to call it this is just adding our text to it and we'll add our so it'll be my Twitter. We'll just, yeah. Ooh, Twitter. And then from here, you can obviously um, change the font uh, if you wanted to. Uh, let's see. Even got this cool little press start right here. I think that's interesting. Now you notice it's a little big right there. And shrink it from right here. Boom, you could just put it like right there as such. Now you can also change the color, bring it over here, change the color to wherever you wish. Let's leave the white and then let's go blue. And then boom, 
there you go twitter and you can go further see what else they got uh, transform this work basically is a simple quick way um to like put position which area on the screen is and then adjust the font size shadow is self-explanatory um these are the other little filters blur all kind of other stuff oh uh won't go too far into that because it's kind of explanatory and then you know just colors and fade and stuff so we got all this stuff going right here we just got the text we got a little transition right here um but let's just say we want people to know we want to um also give them a little you know boom i want you to subscribe to my channel or something like that the, uh clip champ has a um actually nice little template i think it is personally it's really nice uh, let's go to stock video and then subscribe they got all these subscribe stuff as well as um other stock videos and photos so i think that's really cool too so you just add it just like that boom and it's simple and if you want to once again if you want to uh, change the where the positions at you can just go from transform and then boom boom and then right here picture in picture which is a little weird but you can also just drag it wherever you want and just make sure but here we'll play it just again so you can see fit the frame bingo uh, this is another tutorial I was doing though a little tab here so now I did take a picture of the kinetics boom you get the idea it has the subscribe but it has quite a bit of subscribe stuff i think that's really cool to be honest with you and you can change the speed if you will um so that's that you got the like i said stock images in case you want to use something else depending on what exactly you're doing um yeah sound effects right here uh templates so templates i would make sure figure out what you're doing first before you do the templates and then kind of go for more you can sometimes it would be a little difficult but uh yeah and if you just again want to split something boom and if you want to make a duplicate it's pretty simple duplicate um normally you'd be doing that to more in detail on making a tiktok video again i have a video for that um yeah um, you guys also when we're exporting or you want to uh, go click export and then uh, again if you're doing social media 720p it just tells you uh, for drafts I don't really do the draft thing and then I would just do 1080p once you get to click on that it's gonna tell you uh, you can edit right here you can save it to your Google Drive you can um, immediately upload it to YouTube unless you got to be linked up though and send it TikTok and all this stuff right here. And usually I normally just let it go and then save it to the computer because as soon as you do this, if you didn't save it, it's gonna go straight to your downloads. So I'll leave it like that. And then once it's done, I'll go over it and uh, make sure I didn't mess up anything. Now, let's just say you did. Let's just say you went through all this and you messed up. You can go back. It's already, it's in the cloud. It's in, it's in the cloud. You could always go back and get in there and then re-edit your stuff, which I really like that. It kind of reminds me of Canvas, the feel of this. So it's really cool. I think it's now you don't have all those special little stuff like I use on HitFilm, like the masking and all this other stuff. But I think as far as beginners and just for YouTubing like games and stuff like that, I think it's perfect because uh, you don't need all that crazy stuff. It's not like a movie and all this stuff is going on. I think it's I think it works really nicely and it's um not that not that hard to work with guys if you like this video please smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next video thank you so much for watching